Okay, welcome back to Shadowloo Bootcamp episode 12, part 2. In this section, we're going to be covering Gauss space control, uh, where he mostly excels at. So we're going to showcase how to apply his fireball game, because in this game in particular, I feel that he is really strong in the fireball game as compared to other games because of the V skill. I mean, that opens so many more possibilities in that scenario. Uh, also, his normals. If you are a Street Fighter 4 player, then you will notice that there's a bit difference with the normals that you'll be using to control space. Because the normals that many of us, me included, because I used to use Gao as well, are not the same normals that we can use as much in this game. We can abuse. So we'll go over that and we'll explain why and we'll show the other normals that you can actually use when spacing in the ground game. So stay tuned because this episode is going to be pretty in-depth with that section. Okay? So let's get to it. Okay, so in this section, we're going to cover Gao's space control. Uh, this is where he mostly excels at. My combo fiend will put it. This is the first defensive style character that you're going to be using in Street Fighter V mostly. Because that's how he plays. Um, the chess match, how he said it. Well, with Guile, you have your Sonic moves, right? Depending on the speed, the normal that you use is the speed, right? But now he has this new particular move, which is his V-Skill. Now, the good thing about the V-Skill, it has more recovery than the Sonic Boom. So if people like jump on it, like you're going to get punished. And characters that have moves that uh, go through projectiles are easier to punish the V-Skill than it is the Sonic Boom. Now, if you were a player in Street Fighter 4, Sonic Booms in this game actually have, a, I think, a bit more recovery than Street Fighter 4. So you gotta be careful with that as well. So you have to space them properly. You have to know when to do it, mostly. Um, the good thing about the V-Skill into Boom is that it becomes a two-hit. A two-hit projectile, right? So versus Fireball characters, like his Fireball game, in my opinion, I think it's a lot better. He fends off really, really well in the Fireball game versus a lot of characters. In Street Fighter 4, he used to be able to, you know, hold his own with his Sonic Booms, but eventually there was a point where he would have to jump a projectile because he didn't have the charge in time to, like, right around if you're throwing fireballs right around the fourth fireball he would have to jump because he doesn't have time to like get the charge because competing with other fireballs which were just motion he would at some point have to jump or do something to avoid it or do focus and now that he has the beast skill he can actually like he negates one projectile and he still has one going so you technically have an ex sonic boom every single time you do beast skill into sonic boom so versus ex moves it's even better, so if Ryu does an EX Fireball, then you get to negate, negate it and cancel it out without even wasting an EX Meter. And if you do waste EX Meter, you have three hits, which is even better. See, it's three hits, so that means that you'll beat out the EX Sonic, the EX uh, Fireball, and you still have one hit to, hit to hit him with, or to cause him to block. And this is really good to like go ahead and walk behind it. The speed is relatively, I feel like the speed is even slower. Like the, the speed of the boom with the V-Skill, to me, I, I see it as if it were a bit different. I don't know, that's just me of how I see it. Maybe it's because it's a bigger fireball. It's like, it's like the poison fireball, actually, if you see it like that. Now, so this is very important for the fireball game, right? So we're, we're using space control for now with fireballs. Now, how do you space out? And how you like get in there, face with the. You can just do this. This move, if you press back and short, you move forward. So you can do Sonic Boom, do that, see? And you still have a boom. See? Because you're already charging, right? So that's your go to thing to. If you want to do another boom, you can do this. And then do that. You know? Stuff like that. Anyways, now let's put Ryu to do fireballs, because that's what we should be doing, right? Okay. That's the that's the good thing about the beast skill, right? Oh, and if you get one hit of the beast skill, 
You can actually do something else. But if you get the... I sometimes don't understand this, I I'll be honest. Because sometimes you can land an another hit, but I think that if you catch him as an anti-air, like you can. I really don't get it sometimes. But you can actually land a normal right after. See? So keep that in mind that you can do that. Uh, another thing you can do... See, like I said, like you can already... This is way better in the Fireball game. It's way better now. And like I said, now let's put Ryu to do EX Fireball, right? He gets punished because of it. So you, you like, don't even have to be afraid of the EX Fireball. You should do it right now. Ah, okay, let me wait a bit. Right, right about now. Okay. See? So, so you're, I'm not even wasting meter in this match. So this is a lot better for Guile, in the sense that we can just do that. And you see, I'm still with pressure right there. So that's really good to know. See, I still have the... Now I kept him blocking. Now, for Fireball, that's what you should be doing. Now, Space Control does not only involve Fireballs, it also involves his Normals. Now, his Normals, his good Normals for poking are back fierce. Forward pierce, but the problem with forward pierce is that you can crouch under it, so that might happen. The hit. Standing roundhouse moves him forward, it's really good. This move, surprisingly, they gave it way too much range in this game. I don't know why, but you can actually use it. It's not only something to bait throws, but right now it's actually a good poke as well, compared to other games. Um, standing medium kick is a good poke, but forward medium kick is extremely good as a poke. Because there's a range where this will not reach. See? This move will not reach your opponent. But this will. See, that move actually has more range than back pierce because you move forward. This, there's another move that you can use, but it's really unsafe. Unless if you space it correctly, which is his back short or forward short which is the bazooka knee. Now, if you manage to land it max range, it's like minus one, I think. Or maybe zero on block. I know that if you land it meaty, it's plus two. If you land it on the last active frame, it's plus two. If you land it on counter hit in the last active frame, it's plus four. And you can land your light into light sonic boom. See? I did it right there. Now, it's really important that you know how to use these pokes. See? You need to know, see, how to space them out because characters will... Many people that use Guile will be used to doing Stand Fierce because it used to be really good in Street Fighter 4. In this game, it's still good, but it's not as good. So characters will whiff punish it a lot more often than they used to do it in Street Fighter 4. See, because like I said, like I'm not getting him, he's getting me. It's harder, right? But if I use this one... And the good thing is that if this hits, it's plus two. So you can actually throw a jab or a medium punch right after. And if it's counter hit, you get the jab. Anyways, so, okay, we have those normals, right? Keep that in mind. Back pierce is really good, but also keep, I really want you guys to pay good attention to these normals. Actually. Because these two normals actually catch people off guard a lot. Because since they move forward, they're not expecting you to cover that range at that point. So let's let's go through them really quick. Okay, so our pokes are back fierce, forward fierce. But remember, they can crouch. So you can't be too predictable with this punch, okay? So be careful with it. But if you get the hit, it's a, it can be a crush counter. Um, this move actually has a good hitbox of far, but it usually catches mid attacks. So if they do like a crouching medium punch, like you might catch the hitbox. Uh, but crouching medium kick is good, but the same thing. Doesn't really beat out everything. Because if I do Ryu Sweep, which has even better range, see, that, that, see, that is just retarded. I'm, I'm like way far, see? Guile, 
I'm hitting the move, but it, but see, I don't reach. But he reaches. I can't reach him, but he can. So that's. Okay. He reaches, right? So Gao's normals that have the most range aren't as good as they used to be. So now you really have to risk a bit more because this move, if they block it, it's minus two, right? So you technically have to get in a position where you're actually minus. If you really like want to try to out footsie them, you have to like commit yourself to like getting closer, even if you're not on positive. So try to land this as far as you can so that way they don't really get to create an offense, a really good offense, you do it really far. The same thing goes with this move. The farther you land it, you just block, maybe just jump back or maybe do a boom. You know, but you have to be careful. But these moves, you, I just want you not to depend on them as much as you did in four. Because I'll be honest, Gal players would usually use this move a lot because it used to be extremely good. Now, and Crouching Medium Kick was hella good in Street Fighter 4 and Street Fighter Cross Tekken. So, now that we have that, and we know that, let's see, what else, what other move did I record? I record one last move. Oh yeah, Standing Medium Kick, see? That one you can actually... See, that one you can with punish. And same thing, you can... Oof! If you get the counter hit... Hmm. Oh, I didn't dash. The hit stun on that is ridiculous. Anyways, so... Ah, oh, standing medium kick, like I said. It's also a really good poke. It's only plus three on block. So, uh, on hit, I'm sorry. It's plus three on hit, plus five on counter hit. You can use it, but like I said, it, it leaves you open. So let's put him to do sweep one more time. I, want, I didn't check this. I, I want to see if it avoids the sweep because he lifts up, lifts up with his leg. See, but at that range, right? But I get hit. See. So okay, it's a good, it's a good normal to throw out. As well. So let's just do. Let's just take him out to not do any normals at all. Oops, CPU. I don't want to fight the CPU. Okay. So, quick recap. Back short is a really good normal. Stand short is actually really good. Has really good range as well. Now, mediums. Stand medium kick, good poke. Crouching medium kick still is good. But forward medium kick and back medium kick, this move, it has a really big hitbox. Sometimes you'll be over here and you'll hit a move that they throw out. So this one will be, honestly, when these are failing, go for this. Okay? Or this. Now, standing roundhouse, extremely good. Moves him forward. It's a really good move. You can use it to space out and to keep them at bay. And forward roundhouse, like I said, now it moves forward and it has ridiculous range compared to what it did in 4. That was way too far for that to hit. Back Fierce is a really good normal, but keep in mind you can't abuse it. You can't abuse... I mean, it's still safe on block, but you can't abuse it as a poke because it can get with punished a lot easier than it did in 4. Forward Fierce, really good normal. Manages to make your opponents think twice before trying to create an offense. But remember that you can't be too predictable with it because it'll make you obvious. And then they're going to do a crouching normal and they're going to give you a hell of a punish. That being said, you can also poke with your sonic booms. You can use a poke like this, get into range, then do a boom. Right? Uh, that's pretty much... All of his normals, like, you can use this target combo. This target combo is really good as a poke. But if they're crouching, this will whiff. So you have to be careful with that, see? Because then he might just do sweep right after. And then you'll get punished. So this target combo is unsafe, so be careful. Crouching medium punch is actually a good poke. It does punish normals sometimes if they throw the crouching medium kick. Let me just show one more time, and then I think we should be done with that. Uh, crouching medium kick is this one. It's harder. It's pretty hard. See, but that one hits. But anyways, uh, I guess that calls it for all the, pretty much his space control with regards to Sonic Booms and his normals. 
I hope this is a bit helpful because with Guile, if you're starting off with Guile, maybe you're already getting frustrated seeing as that you can't use the same normals as much as you did before. So now we're going to go ahead to the last section, which is anti-airs, because obviously we don't want people getting in on us. So we're going to cover that section after, and then we're done with the Guile episode 12. Okay, so that concludes part two of Shadow the Bootcamp episode 12. I hope you guys enjoyed the content with regards to his how to play Gal's Fireball game in using adding the V skill to his game. Like you saw, versus EX moves, you can always like, technically you always have an EX Hadouken, pretty much, if you use your V skill. Keep in mind, V skill has more recovery than the Sonic Booms, so be careful when you do it with regards to space because they might get a jump in. So be careful with that. As for his normals, his space control and neutral with his attacks. Like I showed, back fierce and crouching medium kick aren't as good as they used to be. They're still really good, but they're not as strong. And forward medium kick and back short are really good in this game. So make sure to test them out, the normals that we showcased, and try to apply them and use them in training mode to counter other pokes. See what characters actually beat out your pokes so that you can whiff punish. So that being said, we're going to go on to part three, which is Gal's anti-airs, and I'll see you in part three.